hey guys and welcome back again right here to our channel today we are going to do a video for today with mr quintero which means he's going to show you guys how to do a project and the project for today is getting this um walmart table that we got at walmart and we um, purposing it or refurbishing it um we left it outside we used it forgot that it was outside and we had heavy rains so it started to um it got water damage a lot so instead of throwing away my husband's going to unscrew these unscrew this take it off and then he's going to replace it with thicker wood and then um go ahead and also um what do you call that put this back on i know we're going to use the same thing or use another clean um, piece of leather or top but this is what we're going to do. And then he'll use this as his project table because he could easily fold it. These, these um, tables fold these legs so he could easily bring it out, use it, and then put it away so it doesn't look all crowded in the man cave. So let's see how this starts and let's see what the final product will look like. Okay, so now he's used the wire cutters to take off those staples, I guess you can call. So, are we going to refurbish the top part or are you going to buy new material? No, you can use the same. He wants to use the same one, guys, but I'll convince him to use a uh, new material. Let's take a look nicer. And that's what he's doing guys so then All that the come off yeah okay guys so this is how it looks after you take it off so this is this is good so what um, my husband's gonna do he's gonna measure and then he'll cut and then you see these oh this this is what you're gonna do so this is gonna be his template so it could be the perfect cut and then he too is going to take this as where the, these little things are because he's going to put his own and there, there's little brackets and then like i said that's the leather top oh, will want to be leather vinyl. vinyl and i'm saying he gets a new one because yeah that one's weather too we're getting there okay so that that one which he took off the table he professionally is standing on top of that and then put it on this wood a little mm -hmm. secret about that we found out is that whenever you go to home depot and they're sprayed like that like this one's sprayed purple that's the color that represents the amount of um percentage you're going to get off so this wood was 70 percent off so he's going to um mm -hmm. trace it so that way this is the exact same measurement for make the sure table. Make sure this is bold. You gotta make sure you distribute your weight right. Oh, because it bended. Don't mind my Air Nikes. He purchased those Air Nikes at a very high end. Roll your drive. Bam. There it is. So use that as a template. Perfect. Okay. He's going to use a hand saw, a jigsaw, to cut it.
So it's done cutting. Not bad, huh? Not bad. So now the real test will it fit in the frame. And it passed the test. Look at that, guys. Perfect fit. So now you're going to use the old linen, the old cover of the original table. So you can have that all black finish, guys. Look how, how perfect that fit in. There's the cover from the old one. Because it's a little bit thicker, huh? No. I'll just put it on the side. Since the bottom won't show. Mm -hmm. Very true. So we use a staple gun to um, staple the, what is it called, baby? The linen? Okay. The lining, the lining back. So he's going to do right at the edge. Can you also use that one other machine that you tend to use a lot? The staple? What? The, your staple gun with pressure, air pressure, can you also use that? No, you split it. Oh, yeah? See, guys, so don't use it because I was thinking it will be more easy, but he says it splits the wood. So, staple. Um, this is this is MDF. You split it with the staple. Mm. See, guys, Mr. Quintero knows. He knows. So, I say it came out good, but... This little corner, you can't really see, or can you? It's a little bit wrinkled compared to the other corners that are nice and smooth. So he's going to pull out the staple and redo it again. And see, just by moving it a little bit, it gets that smooth finish. Just knowing when to play, where to place it. Pulls it and then staples. And you get that nice, smooth finish. See how all of this comes out? So he has to tuck it in, and there's a professional way of doing it. We're gonna go get a little knife. <laughs> well, they're still gonna show them. Because it thinks this is thicker than the normal one that was there. Uh huh. We gotta tuck all this. Yeah, that's what I'm there. talking about. That excess needs to be tucked in. And I have a. But look at that guys look at that of course we're gonna wipe it down right now but look at how smooth that came out to be and look this compared to how you know look it's all bent you guys can see all weathered and then you come over here and it's just solid yeah this this table's gonna last a while now nice and this is the final product guys the bracket has been put in wiped it down so instead of throwing out this i think it was like 20 buck 20 dollar um table we, we just refurbish it and use it we turn this around to the other side so the old it's at the bottom so it looks new and it's ready to be used as my husband's new um work table hope you guys enjoy this don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. And as always, I will see you in the next video.